Are you serious? Are you serious? The RFID microchip and how it relates to the mark of the beast. Now, you guys know last year I wrote a book, Mark of the Beast, RFID. And this book didn't just only deal with the RFID, and you can find this book at my website. It's the only place it is. Uh, it didn't just only deal with the RFID and the Obamacare. Matter of fact, the video that I have the most, most views of any video I've ever done is the 666, the microchip implant with over 1.2 million views. The fact that it is in the Obamacare bill and was supposed to be implemented no later than the 23rd of March of this year, 2013. But they couldn't pull it off. They can't even make a website work yet at the Obama administration. So the microchip was pushed to the end of December 2017. Meanwhile, the Obamacare struggle and fight in this nation over health care continues. And it's actually being orchestrated exactly according to plan. To create chaos, confusion, and then get everybody just to give up and throw everybody into a one-payer system or what I would call socialized medicine. But not like you have in Canada or not like you have in the UK. Oh no, this is a whole new world. And I've got some uh, information I want to share with you for some from experts, two, two or three experts who know exactly what I'm talking about, including Perry Stone. First of all, let me play for you right now. This is Vice President Joe Biden when he was still Senator Biden of Connecticut. And there was a Chief Justice who was nominated by George W. Bush, a Republican, to become the next Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, a man named Roberts. That's right. Uh, John Roberts. And during the confirmation hearing, Listen to what Joe Biden tells John Roberts he will have to rule on in the coming years as the new Supreme Court Justice. Listen to this. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. Now, that you could hear him pounding his fist on the desk. He specifically is saying to John Roberts, you will rule on the microchip that can be implanted in people's bodies. Now, of course, here we are. Joe Biden's the vice president of the United States. John Roberts is the highest uh, on sets in the highest seat on the highest court of the land. And Obamacare shows up. And Nancy Pelosi says we have to pass the bill to find out what's in it. And now we have. In the first of all, the bill passed with 2,300 pages. Today it has over 5,500 pages and growing as they continue to add more procedures to the bill. To, on how to implement what they passed, including a microchip. Now, there was another man who was in a service recently who uh, overheard preachers talking about the microchip and talking about it that, that even some of the clergy would start taking this chip. I'm going to find that for you. Um, right. I, a couple of weeks ago, I really got um, shaken up by a sister that uh, to the church that in New, York, in New York City that she's visiting, uh, the pastor and the leader and the service, they were talking, and um, the, the one of the leaders there and the pastor were talking about the RFID ship, and they was, they was telling people in the congregation that the RFID ship is not the mark of the beast. And so he, he called one of the uh, uh, leader up and said, show, show him the RFID. And so he has it in his, in his right hand right there. Uh, I believe it's under there, his right hand arm. And he, he was showing it to the people and, he, and, and, and the pastor was saying to the congregation, everyone, everyone was applauding what was going on. They said, you see, you see, we got it. There's nothing wrong with the RFID ship. 
So there's some major pastors who've already had implanted in them the RFID chip and are saying in front of their congregation, see, I got it. There's nothing wrong with this. This isn't the mark of the beast. This is just a new advanced technology. And that's the message they're trying to sell the masses of congregations. And let me tell you why. Because when, and look, I'm not saying that the RFID chip specifically in the Obamacare bill is, is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying that. What I am saying, though, it is the technology that could be used to implement the mark of the beast. If you read Revelation 13, you will see it literally. It, the, the one world government, which will be the beast, which you can find in Revelation 13, 1. That beast is going to rise, and he's going to, he's going to, have to be led by an antichrist. And uh, you can find that in Revelation 13, 11, who he is. And he'll have a sidekick, which will be the false prophet and the false prophet will rise up as well and will help the antichrist uh, implement the mark of the beast and you can find these things in revelation 13 uh, 13 through uh, 16 through 18 it tells you exactly how it's going to be developed now uh, the mark of the beast system has got to be implanted it's got to be done somehow and i've always said to you folks that technology is catching up with bible prophecy this is why we're in the last days. This is why you see this advancement in technology and information and systems. Because Lucifer's got to have a way to control you. But just the system alone is not enough. You've got to change the thinking of the mind of the people. Especially the Christians who are going to resist this thing. Unless you can get the pastors to buy in, to help sell it by paying them or whatever means of manipulation that the uh, government and world leaders will do. And there's some pastors out here, they're not real, okay? There's some great men of God who truly love Jesus Christ and preach the Word of God, and we're not afraid to tell you the truth. But there is others that are blinging and flinging who need to be absolutely removed, left hook, pulled out, whoop, off stage. Because they're shysters and charlatans, and they don't preach the Word of God. Uh, let me play for you now. Uh, this is Perry Stone. And uh, I'm going to play for you uh, a couple, about a minute and a half of what he has to talk about twice. He has two different minute and a half sections. I think it's very important for you to hear on the teaching of the microchip and how it could be used for the mark of the beast. Uh, let me find where I need to start on Perry here. Give me one second here. It's messy. Uh, I'll find it right here. It just takes a second. Here we go. Here's Perry Stone. East. We shared about the first beast of Revelation 13.1, who's the Antichrist. The second beast of Revelation 13.11, who is the false prophet. The false prophet is going to initiate something that is mentioned in verses 16 through 18 of Revelation 13. He, again speaking of the false prophet, causes all small, great, rich, and poor, free and bond to receive a mark on their right hand or in their forehead, so that no man might buy or sell except the one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here's wisdom. Them, that him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast for it's the number of a man his number is 666 now the question that comes up is why would the false prophet and the antichrist team together to initiate a mark to control all buying and selling the answer is threefold revelation 18 8 there will be limited food supplies on earth because of famines and drought revelation 6 5 and 6 controlling the food by rationing will give you power over the nation and this is important. Food will be rationed during this time. Revelation 13, 16 through 18, you can control the masses by giving them food and then they have to convert to your religion. This is why the false prophet is so important in the end time with the Antichrist. Because the Antichrist alone, communist alone, can't drive this thing home. You also need to tap into the spiritual side of the human being and not only, not only force them to do something, but make them believe it's good. And that's where the false prophet comes in. Now remember something, though. This is very clear. I want to say this again. 
The false prophet rises from radical Islam, and the reason it is, because if you read Little John, it tells you an antichrist spirit is anyone who, who doesn't profess Jesus Christ as Lord. Okay? You have seven different denominations of Christianity, but even though they all disagree in, in doctrinal issues, there's one name they all agree on as a Savior. It's Jesus Christ. God will sort the rest of it out. But false prophet coming from Islam calls Jesus Christ, first they call him a prophet, but ultimately they want to wipe out all Christians and Jews because they're called infidels. And this is why you have to have a false prophet to go along with an antichrist if you're going to drive the message home. Now let's go here, Perry, Perry Stone again. I want to play another about a minute and a half for you as he talks about the technology of the mark of the beast. Uh, give me one second here and we'll be ready to play it for you. Here we go, Perry Stone. Then this one became very, very intriguing with me, and this was what was called the chip, the chip implant. This is called the RFID radio frequency chip implant, which is the size of a grain of rice. It operates off of a lithium battery. It is now being inserted in pets and people. Listen, two and a half million people now have this chip, and guess where they put it? You got it, in the right hand or in the forehead. And the reason they do, they insert it right here between the thumb and the finger, because that's a comfortable spot for you, or they do it right below the hairline. In Brooksville, Florida, years ago, I met a man who happens to do work with satellites. He was working on a Russian satellite doing micro-welding. This man was not a Christian. A friend set up a meeting with us for me to discuss with him technology. He said, do you know in the space shuttle right now they have a chip? and they're testing it in the space shuttle. I said, what, what is it? He said, it's a chip that years from now will go into your right hand or your forehead. I said, you're kidding me, I acted dumb. He, I said, he said, no, and it's gonna have all your information on it. You won't need a bank card, you won't need a social security card, you won't need money, you'll, ha you'll just scan your hand. I said, are you serious? He said, yeah. And by the way, the guy had a computer in his office and could talk to the space shuttle and did it while I was there. Are you serious? So Perry Stone, of course, talking to a NASA scientist who's explaining about the microchip that can be implanted already in the right hand or in the forehead. And matter of fact, as you heard Perry say, two and a half million people worldwide already have microchips in them. And the guy from NASA says, hey, listen, we're putting up on the, the space station and in satellites the, the component of this microchip system so that it can re so that anywhere you go you are a GPS your banking information everything you need to function in this new world this one world government is going to be able you'll be able to do it through the microchip that's in your body now it's folks you have to understand now in the Obamacare bill which was the HR 4872 and HR 3590. If you go back and watch my video I did on 666, The Mark of the Beast, it's got 1.2 million views. But I, and, and in it, I explain to people that it's due to be implemented by March 23rd. Well, obviously, the Obama administration, our federal government, uh, can't get anything done right away, so they had to push that out. They've changed the date in the law to now it's supposed to be implemented by December 31st, 2017. That's part of that growing reason that the Obamacare bill has grown. That's part of the reason. It says specifically that there's a class 2 implant that goes into pacemakers, breast implants, chin implants, pain pumps, but there's also class 3 microchip implants and they have to do with your identification registry. That is the chip that the NASA scientist is talking about. That is the chip that, Pre that Perry Stone is trying to describe. That is the chip that the other gentleman was trying to say that pastors already are receiving and are sharing it with their mega churches in some cases. Folks, this thing is coming faster than you can think. So if you go to your Bibles, boy, I wish I had more time. Do I have more time? I think I do. I'm going to go a little further. Go with me right now. I'm going to go past 15 minutes on this one. Let go with me. Do you want me to do this? I mean, we could go, you know, you know. I don't care. You can go out and you can go watch Duck Dynasty if you want to, which are fine. Or you can go watch, you know, whatever you want to do. You can go hang out with the Desperate Housewives of Atlanta. Or we can find out what's going on. Here's the deal. In Revelation, the Bible tells you 
of course, in Revelation 13, it says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw, 13, it says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Of course, that is the beast, which is the one world government, the Antichrist, who is the head of that beast, and also his ten little kings that will be worshiping under him, who will be in charge of the ten sectors that the Illuminati already has, and they will be kings, because they have crowns, and their crowns say blasphemy. So there's no Jesus anywhere. You can't find any Jesus in the New World Order. These preachers are being deceived, and the Bible says they are blind leaders of the blind. So listen to me when I tell you that. Now, having said that, go on down to Revelation 13, and look at verse 11. He said, And I beheld another beast, that's the false prophet, coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, but he spake as a dragon. Obviously, he's a liar. And he's using a manipulation to help push Sharia law, or which, will go, which is a kissing cousin to the New World Order's martial law or um, communist law. I mean, all of it works together. All right. Now, the Bible says, look at here, in Revelation 13, it does say uh, in verse 16, and he caused... All, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man and it is 603 score and 6. Now you guys know back when the UPC barcodes first came out, the first numbers, I used to run a, a company, I used to run a factory, okay, as a plant manager, and uh, the UPC barcodes we had to put on all the products, always you had to start the machine with 666 and then the rest of the numbers. That is the universal barcode starting number, 666. That wasn't an accident. That was a pre-planned deal, just like Joe Biden is saying, I guarantee, mark my words. You heard him say it. Mark my words. You will have to uh, rule. Um, I, you will have to rule on this uh, beast situation. Mark my words is what Joe Biden said. And I'll play it for you again. Let me find it. Um, here are the words of Joe Biden, and it's it's the Illuminati's coming, folks. A microscopic tag being planted in a person's body to track his every movement. There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. Okay, so... Boom, 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 you will, and he did. And what's the odds? John Roberts becomes the highest Supreme Court justice in the land, and Joe Biden, who said those words, is now helping implement those words as the vice president of the United States. And in April of this year, 2013, I should have had that ready for us, but I didn't pull that up. But uh, Joe, Vice President Joe Biden stood before a thousand bankers and investment bankers and, and uh, hedge fund uh, financial men and at a banquet on, August, on April the 3rd, 2013, told them that, that the Obama administration, that he and President Obama and some of the others, their number one focus is to implement the new world order. Uh, a new global order, a new one world global order. He kept referring to these phrases. A new banking system based on a new world order. So, you can't buy or sell. you got to have some kind of a mark. It's got to interface somehow. And to receive it, here's the key. You have to deny Jesus Christ. Why do you think they fired that bus driver in Minnesota for praying with the kids? They fired him simply because he they he was letting them sing Christian songs and pray if they want to. They fired him. Seven thousand parents are are demanding he be rehired. He won't be rehired. You can mark my word. The New World Order won't give an inch. And these preachers who are starting to cave, they're not real. And I serve notice on them in the name of Jesus.
They had better repent of their sins quickly and make this right. Or God will remove their candlestick. I think he already has. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. Don't miss today's show. We'll cover this stuff from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's today at paulbegleyprophecy.com from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. Plus tornadoes, the earthquakes, the floods in Saudi Arabia, the peace agreement, everything else. We'll cover it all. We've got three hours. Don't miss it today. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.